oncology is very rewarding in several aspects. Building long and committed relationship with my patients is the favorite one of them. Uh, the other one is helping poor patients, helping sick patients, people who need help all the time, and uh, standing next to the family and supporting my patient during their journey, day by day, step by step. Oncology has basically had tremendous changes over the last 10 years. Tons of new treatments came in, and uh, patients these days basically get cured from diseases we were not able to cure a long time ago. Uh, now we do personalized treatment, and we analyze the cancer genome, and we do target treatment. Uh, we do something they call personalized treatment, and we try to tailor treatment for each patient individually to match their need and to match their ability to recover and, and get cured. So immunotherapy is something new, like we became aware about it about several years ago. It changed life of many patients. So. I was very lucky and I got many patients in complete remission from several diseases. Coming from academic institution where I did my training, I was shocked by the amount of research that we are actively participating in. We have probably at least 100 active clinical trials for several kinds of malignancies. And in addition to that, we have phase one research unit that developed new treatment for several malignancies. Every new and strong drug we see these days basically started by an idea, and this idea was tested by phase one clinical trial, and each patient deserved to get that chance. And each patient could be the next one that might get the cure that's not available at this moment. So we try to involve our patients in this kind of trial whenever it's possible. I became very intimate with oncology since my childhood when I watched my dad suffering from head and neck cancer when I was seven years old. It was very tough for us and very tough for my family to find a good doctor and to find a good treatment. Every time I see a patient with cancer, I get their feeling, I get their, I understand their emotional, uh, the emotional struggle that they face. Eventually we lost, I lost my dad and, and that always in my mind to save every patient from this cancer.